Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. I wanted to try something a little different today and take you along with me as I doodle in my bullet journal, or Bujo for short. I'm new to bullet journaling, but I really have been getting into this type of journaling, as you may have seen on my Instagram, and a lot of you over there have been commenting and asking if I can do a video all about bullet journaling, and I'm still kind of figuring it out for myself, but I will be posting a video on it in the future, so hang in there and stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those videos. One thing I like doing in my bullet journal is documenting something from the day or doodling something that I really like during the season. And in this case, I wanted to do a little page on my love for fall drinks. For those who are curious, I will put the pens that I use in the video description below. And this video isn't so much like a how to draw tutorial, it's more of a take a break, chill out, and come doodle with me. All right, let's go. I'll be drawing this in my disc bound journal. And of course, you know I have to have some hazelnut coffee, one of my favorite drinks. Starting with a title for this page, my favorite fall drinks. And I know I don't have the greatest handwriting, I've accepted that, but I do like quirky handwriting, so I like the contrast of scripty type next to bulky. Now with a tan color, I want to do some sort of splash of color behind my drinks. And then with a ballpoint pen, doodling my first mug. The thing I like about doodling is that it takes the pressure off of feeling like you have to draw an elaborate masterpiece every time you sit down to draw. In that case, I will never get any drawing done if I think that way, so if it's just a doodle, it's okay to mess up. It's okay to just draw something and then move on with the rest of your day. Here I'm drawing some hazelnuts because you might have already guessed, one of my favorite fall drinks is a hazelnut latte. And then doodling some coffee beans. And I know these aren't perfect, but again, that's the beauty of doodling. I'm more likely to draw something if it's just a doodle, and then I get more practice and I get better. And now I'm going over the hazelnuts with a white jelly roll pen. I kind of like to label the things that I doodle, so now I'm labeling this hazelnut latte. And underlining it with the same brush pen. I'm repeating the same process with my two other favorite drinks and using a cream color brush pen on this one and drawing a different style of mug. And then doodling some of the ingredients that are in a chai latte, which make it delicious, and going back over some of them in a brown brush pen to add some color. A chai latte is one of my favorite drinks, and I like it every now and then, but during my college years, I was seriously addicted to this drink. I would have it every day, which honestly can be kind of unhealthy because it has a lot of sugar in it, but I now like the less sweeter version, but man, I was addicted to this drink. And now onto my next favorite fall drink, a mulled cider. But to be honest, these can be my favorite drinks no matter what time of year going with an orangey color on this one and a different style mug. If you've never tried mulled cider before, it's kind of like apple cider. It does have apple cider in it, but it also has a few different spices that just give it a different taste. It is delicious, especially on a cold day and you have some hot mulled cider to sip. So good. It includes orange slices and I believe some allspice berries. Going back in and doodling some brown on the cinnamon sticks and then labeling it with my black brush pen just like I did with the other drinks. And now I'm going back in and drawing some leaves around the page. Just some on the title and these are just really simple leaves. And here is my finished bullet journal page documenting my favorite fall drinks. I hope this encourages you to take a little break in your day, take some time for yourself, and doodle something. It can be really relaxing or therapeutic, and if you like this type of video, give it a thumbs up, and let me know what your favorite fall drink is in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, Sea Lemon, and you can check out other art and doodle tutorials right here. All of these links will be in the description below, and I will see you guys next time.